The chair now hands to the tellers the certificate of the electors for president and vice president of the state of Florida. Mr. President, the objection is in writing, signed by a number of members of the House of Representatives, but not by a member of the Senate. Mr. President, I stand for the purpose of objecting to the counting of the vote from the state of Florida as read. Mr. President, I rise on, rise on behalf of the Congressional Black Caucus to object to the 25 electoral votes from Florida. Mr. President, thank you for your inquiry. It is in writing. It is signed by myself on behalf of my diverse constituents and the millions of Americans who have been disenfranchised by Florida's inaccurate vote count. The, is the objection signed by a senator? Well, Mr. Chair, Mr. President, I am objecting to, uh, uh, to the idea that votes in Florida were not counted. The clerk will report the objection. We, a member of the House of Representatives and a United States Senator, object to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Ohio on the ground that they were not under all of the known circumstances regularly given. Signed, Stephanie Tubbs Jones, State of Ohio. Barbara Boxer, State of California. The objection today is raised because there are irregularities across this country with regard to voting. And we as a Congress have an obligation to step up to the plate and correct them. Mr. Speaker and members, I dedicate my objection to Ohio's electoral votes to Mr. Michael Moore, the producer of the documentary 9-11. First of all, we're here because not a single election official in Ohio has given us any explanation for the massive and widespread irregularity in the, in the state. No explanation for the machines in Mahoning County that recorded carry votes for Bush. Our people are dying all over the world, a lot from my state. For what reason to bring democracy to the far corners of the world? Let's fix it here and let's do it first thing out. Thank you very 